Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we have got a glorious little, it's not little at all, coat little collection for you. I did this last year, um, but I did actually give away a bunch of my coats for like a Christmas thing to share with you my coat collection so far. We've got some staple items. We've got some fun ones thrown into the mix. And I thought I'd share with you my coat collection for 2021. I hope you guys do enjoy. If you did, smash a like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's just get straight into it because we've got quite a few to share with you. To start with, I wanted to show with you this sexy scarf that I got from River Island. It's got so many different colours in it, I'm actually obsessed. It's huge as well. It's coming with me to Edinburgh. Well, it, it came with me to Edinburgh. Um, I just realised that this is pre-filmed and therefore I'm not at Edinburgh yet, but I will be been and gone from Edinburgh by the time that I put this up. Um, yes, I had a really good time. I think it was something like 20 something pounds, which is a bit expensive, I think, for a scarf. It's also got a little patch. It says it's a little R on it. Um, but I do think it's quite expensive for a scarf. Like, normally I am uh, go to Primark, buy one for a fiver. But I saw this and fell in love with it. And I love, like, sort of, like, the brighter colours. And I feel like if you've got a sort of, like, basic outfit, it just kind of, like, lightens it up and brightens it up. And you know that I'm all about brightening up your wardrobe for a bold statement so she's going to be worn or she has been worn quite a lot already right on to the coats so i'll show you so this one has actually been in my wardrobe for the longest time so it's this one it's from boohoo um i got it in a size 12 and it's like an oversized leather look blazer it did originally come with a belt but alas <laughs> I lost the belt somewhere in the move I think I might have accidentally like put it somewhere I might have actually put it in like the donate pile for clothes or something and now it's just a jacket with some buttons that I don't ever do up the belt was kind of annoying anyway I never used it um but it's a really nice length I will pop like obviously like a try on clips so you can see what they look like and if it's still available I will link it down below just for you I really think those sort of coats so like a leather look blazer coat thing jacket whatever it is um i think those are sort of like staples for winter like autumn winter wardrobe because i mean you want to go somewhere crazy for like for food you want to go somewhere like up market what do you want to wear on your top a faux leather look coat exactly this is the little smart boohoo babe i really like her because it's just like Again, a sort of like oversized fit. You can wear it as like a casual vibe or a smart vibe. It's got pockets, lovely stuff. <laughs> I've had this for like probably like two years, maybe. I don't know. It's one of the first things I got sent by Boohoo like ages ago. I just really like it. I think it's one of those things that I'm just going to constantly wear all the time. I just love it. It's love it. A classic, a classic garment. This one is a recent addition, as you will see from the fact that uh, the tag is still in it, but I have worn it multiple times. I'm that person as well that will wear something with its tag still in. I'll have it for a couple of, well, a couple of weeks and I still haven't taken the tag out um, because I'm weird like that, clearly. I got a size medium and it's the green nylon oversized puff panel weighted wadded weighted puffer jacket but it's oversized and she is oversized it also comes with a hood which i really like and look at this color i really love the color it's so so cool and it's really nice for sort of like those autumn winter dog walks i thought this was we did go for a dog walk actually and got soaked because this obviously isn't a water resistant coat. However, it did keep me warm. I mean, it, it did fulfill its purpose. It's humongous though, look. Cause it's oversized obviously, it's humongous. I love that sort of like, is it olive? Is that the color? Is that like an olive green? I really enjoy it. So this is the little khaki number. Isn't she cute? Don't we love her? It's absolutely humongous and it's going to definitely keep you warm. Like just wearing this, I think I'd probably be warm. Like going outside, do her up. She's ventilated. She's ventilated? That's not the correct term. But love it. Again, this is what the length is like. And the fact that it's got a hood as well. 
is even better. Look at me. Why is it giving me like olive vibes? Like you know when um is it Olivia from Angus Fungs and Perfect Snogging? Georgia, that's her name, dressed up as an olive right at the beginning. It's giving me olive vibes. Should we do the puffers again? Should we do another puffer? Should I just do all my puffers now and get them out of the way and done with? And this one I got at the beginning of January or February, maybe even March. Um, let's put foundation on the side there. That's where you know it's been well used. It's from ASOS and I got it in a size 12. And it's a really like oversized look, like puffer. And I really like the fact that it's got, it's got pockets on both sides. I've got like receipts and uh, masks in there. I didn't like empty. Oh my God, I just realized I've got these in the pocket and I'm gonna eat them now. This is like my go-to puffer jacket. It doesn't have, it doesn't have a hood. Some would say it's illogical, not very practical, but it keeps me warm on a winter's day. And with a little scarf, like the River Island one, the River Island one, they're just pop of colour. Instantly you've made a black coat that looks quite plain and quite boring. Boom, colour. Colourful outfit, finished. Well, this is the first coat. This is one of the many puffer coats. I think this one's probably like my solid fave. It's kind of like, it just covers the arse. I don't know if that's helpful, like if that's a sellable thing for you, but really like it. The only thing I'd say is that the pockets aren't here. I uh, expect there to be like pockets here and sometimes it's a bit annoying to be like, you know, when it's cold outside, you can't be like, it's just like this. It's not a complete like no go, but I really like it. I think you just need a basic black puffer coat in your wardrobe as well. It's just cute. We like her. Next puffer jacket I have, I have already shared this with you over on my naked haul. It's a bright pink puffer jacket. Is it so, so sick? Um, I got it in a size 42. I never know if that's a 12 or a 14. I assume it's a 14. Absolutely love the color though. I think it's so, so sick. I'm one to stand out of the crowd. So I really enjoy this sort of like bright pink vibe. You can wear some black leggings again, dog walking vibes, whack your hair up, be ready to go. I did think to begin with that, we're at, especially this one was a little bit kind of like, or Britain, what's her name? Vicky, Vicky Pollard, that's it, Vicky Pollard. But I actually really like it. And again, with some black trousers or even just some normal jeans, I just think it's, it goes down a treat. This one's actually cropped as well compared to the others. Like the others are quite oversized, whereas that one's quite a cropped version. Sexy coat. You could say it looked like Vicky Patterson, but the best Vicky Patterson you ever did see. Yep, thought so. It's got a little pocket in the side. Next one next, we've got another papa jacket and it's a blue one. How pretty is it? It's not too like puffery, like you haven't got the things, but it is huge. It's more on the pricier end, um, but I really, really love it. You've got the pockets down the sides here, which we really, really love and I, like this is proper like winter attire. You've got the hood as well. So she is water resistant or waterproof or whatever it is. It might not be, I might be spreading lies. Um, but I love, love, love the color. Oh, on the inside, it's got that sort of ruched detail. Is that correct? What's this here as well? I think you can probably put, do it outside in. So it's reversible. That's so, I've just realized that's amazing. Hey, this is why I do these videos for you. I then even like find things out about my own clothes. I absolutely love this color. It's absolutely beautiful. I've just realized I've left the hanger in the back. Pockets, lovely stuff. Yeah, I think it is, you know, but they're pockets. Both sides look perfect. I enjoy both sides. I think I prefer this now, though. I think I prefer it with a little bit of like tearage, you know? And I know I didn't put it outside in as well because it arrived the other way and I'm not gonna send it to me inside out. So don't go telling me that I've got it inside out because I know that I haven't. Then we'll get on to like the more smarter 
coats so again this one i've had in my wardrobe for about a year and a bit and it's this houndstooth coat houndstooth coat went mad for it last year everybody went mad for it it's from new look and i got a size 12 and the sleeves are like almost puff sleeve um and then it's like fitted down the bottom but they're not too tight um and i love houndstooth i love it with all of my heart it is the autumn style it's the autumn pattern i absolutely love it it's got some really roomy um pockets down the bottom and we've got a little drawer a drawstring a tie waist really love that as well and yeah it's really oversized um and it's quite long as well again i'll do like a cutaway um and i'll try and link it to you if they've got it this year but i'm not sure if they have i haven't seen any like people promoting the fact that it's still in stock but i will have a look and i'll pop it down below in the description just for you if not maybe i'll compile a list of like other nice houndstooth coats as well because as i said i love me a houndstooth coat and i feel like it's kind of like a staple for autumn winter the classic the classic look at it wrap around boom house coat done do you know what i mean like this is just like You've automatically dressed yourself up and now she's like had some trainers on. Now she's walking around, walking a sausage dog. This is me manifesting getting a sausage dog or a Labrador or a Goldie. I'm not gonna be not gonna be picky. You give me any one, I'll take it, no worries. Right. These ones are probably like my favourite coats now. We've gone from like puffers, which I really love, but these are kind of like your smart coats that are very very cool um so this next one is actually quite a loud boy i feel like you're gonna love it or hate it i love it and it's this mm -hmm. pu green it's like a pea green coat it's again it's like a long like a midi styled coat Again, it's got like a tie waist. We've got a little collar going on. The sleeves as well, they're a nice like length and thickness or fitness, fit. They're a nice fit. Um, and I got it in a size 14 and it's called the Green PU Midi Trench and um, size 14. Um, and I absolutely love it. It does stink. Um, like a couple of the PU like trench coats that I've got, um, like that sort of like faux leather material does stink to begin with but after a while the smell's gone and you're left with an amazing coat so i don't know what, what what's the issue here there's nothing nothing's the issue again though i feel like you're gonna love that or hate that please love it otherwise i'll cry i won't cry because i'm the one wearing it and i love it and if you hate it you can just skip along and get on with your day now you're either gonna love this or you're gonna hate it oh, i really really enjoy it it's the thickest colour I've ever worn in my entire life. My um, bangs are having a meltdown. Again, she's got straps. She's got straps, but she's got tie-ups. Finished. Length as well on me. Five foot four last. No worries. Wait, hang on. I feel like I've got to show it with you. This is how I'm going to be walking about in Edinburgh. Like, I've already been and gone by the time you've seen this. But this is how I'm walking about in Edinburgh. Definitely. 100%. You can't get this off me. No, you'll be able to smell me before you see me. Because it'll be like, Christ, what stinks a fish? Like, what stinks? It's me. I stink then we've got the black version so i did show this recently in a vlog um where i did sort of like an asos haul at the end and this is from bershka i got it in a europe xl i don't know what that is probably a 14 i'd assume and yeah it did smell to begin with i believe this one did smell yeah it's still kind of got that fishy smell but i don't know if that's come off of that coat or if it's this one um but we love i really am enjoying the trenches as well this year i feel like it's because they're sort of like in maybe i'm just a trend follower aren't we all though aren't we all but this as well if i didn't want to go for like the short 
blazery oversized look jacket I've got this longer one and when you're wearing like dresses and skirts I really liked the idea of wearing like a trench coat because then you haven't got like the the hassle of having to keep the back down as well as the front I can just keep the front down hacks winter hacks girlies this is what we love now I'm gonna tell you this one does still kind of smell fishy but it has been sat with the other trench coats so I don't know if it's this one or if it's like collectively they all smell or if this one doesn't smell I don't know who's to know but this is what the length is like on me with this trench coat I really love it and as well it's got the old uh, belt she can give it the old uh, if you want to you know um absolutely love it again it's just a little basic I feel like these are sort of coats that you should have had in your wardrobe to begin with pockets thank you pockets just found us another mask thank you very much yeah no i really like it and i like the feel of it as well like it's really soft i really enjoy it i enjoy her another one that we've got here kind of is just basically the brown version of the boohoo one that i got at the beginning with you that i shared with you at the beginning um it's this little sort of like is it maroon potentially maroon um little plt it is plt isn't it yeah pretty little thing uh i got it in size 12 i got uk 12 but it's quite like an oversized one so you can kind of like normally i size up for my coat so i would go up to like a 14 maybe even a 16 because if you want to wear like knits and stuff like that then you kind of want the space but with these because these are sort of like more of a you're wearing an, like a cute top it's of an evening you're wearing a top i just went for a 12 like I, my normal size um and it's really lovely i really like like look how long it is it's proper like an oversized fit and i really really like it again just kind of like steps up an outfit you could go smart casual but you can also dress it up and make it quite smart the idea of being able to wear brown or black if you'd like to because i feel like they're quite like classic colors i realized that some of these you know coats aren't the best like this outfit that i've got on probably isn't the best outfit to show the coat but i'm not about to get changed into something to help you like if you don't trust me that i haven't got one some of the best coat collections around then that's on you not me plt jackets really enjoy the color again maroon is it maroon not sure color i also enjoy the little like line down the side i don't know if you can see it i really love it okay last but most certainly not least like this one I probably have gotten the most wear out of since I got it. I definitely shouted about this as much as I could as soon as I got this as well because you guys know that I've been looking for a faux fur, not lined, faux fur, part faux fur, part faux leather, like PU trench coat. She found one on PLT baby. Um, I need to like re-button the um the faux fur because like it's coming off and it's got all twisted but you get the idea of what's going on here she's a brown babe she's got a little little fur cuff bits she's got the little like you can take these off and just have it as like a brown trench if you wanted to but you've also got the option of having the faux fur there again they've come off it's like you've got the elastic there they haven't broken they just need to go back onto the uh collar i've got it in a size 14 and it fits me perfectly again absolutely stinks it absolutely stinks as i said when the smell goes you're then left with just an amazing coat so i really enjoyed it i'm so glad that i bought this coat Again, still stinks, but she's a dream. Still gonna wear her. I'm still gonna, you know, sashay about in this old bad boy. Look at her go. Look at her go. Love it. Finn. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what your favourite coat was. Not that I'm partial, not that I'm biased or anything, but all of them were my favourite.
as I already said as well, I'll pop like links down below or I'll make like a similar vibed um, collection down below for you to shop if you'd like to. Love you lots and I'll see you soon for another video very soon. Mwah. Mm -hmm.